when I was like real young, I think I was maybe three, I was on the playground playing with my friends. And then this one boy was throwing dirt on me or whatever. So then I ran over there and I was beating him up. And then my cousin came out to get me. And he brought me in the house and I was crying because I thought that I was gonna get in trouble. But all that my mom asked was, did you win? And I said, yeah. And then that's when she was like, then that's all that matters. It's a bridge that actually separates the White House and Ward 8. You can walk there. It's, it's relatively close. I've always been very uncomfortable with the idea that, that in the face of great richness, there is also extreme poverty. I have a problem with that, especially when it affects children. Growing up in Ward 8 of Southeast was really very tough. I didn't see people get dumped out of windows, dead bodies thrown out of windows. It's, it's ridiculous. Like, you never know what's gonna happen next. Now, you ain't gunshot? Oh, that's no big, they just shooting. It's another dead shooter. I know someone that got shot and killed. It was my godbrother. And to this day, I really don't understand why it was, it had to be him. And um, It's really hard for these kids to grow up here. A lot of these kids are suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder because the stress just to sort of stay alive and function in this incredibly dysfunctional world is really, really hard. When I was younger, I threatened to stab a boy. I guess something in my mind just clicked and I was like, dangerous. I kind of know what it is to grow up in a rough neighborhood. A lot of kids don't have anywhere to go, I and mean, they don't have anything to do, and an idle mind is a devil's workshop, you know, and if you don't have anything to do, you're gonna get into mischief. I used to get straight A's and get on a roll, but I also remember that I used to run the halls and stuff like that. I was bored. And so what Horton kids did was that they just put me into a, a school that was persistent and trying to keep us challenged. They had a dream, and the dream was to help out kids in this vicinity because being bright does not depend on where you're from. Life on the streets is hard, but it's just the little things that help out in the long run. Horton's kids tutors the children to make up for some of their educational deficits and we do it in congressional office buildings so they go from a really dilapidated depressing place to the United States Capitol. There was a, a time where I could have went one way and I did go another. Like just this year we was discussing Gandhi and how he preached of nonviolence and how he talked of soul force instead of using body force, which is using violence. I have priorities now. I need to do what I have to do to graduate, get my SAT scores and try to do college tours, things like that. But with, probably without holding kids, I wouldn't be doing any of it because I wouldn't have had that drive and that motivation. They kind of supply my hunger. I, I always wanted to learn Latin. I'm not sure why, it's just been one of my dreams, so. I asked them could they get me a Latin book, and they got me a book on Latin to English translations. Anything that I want, anything that I need, I ask for because in the long run, it might help me out. First time a kid walks into Congress, they look around and, and they're sort of afraid and their eyes are really big and it doesn't take them very long afterwards to sort of be like, yeah, this is my place. I belong here, and they do. A lot of people don't know what a ghetto is. You know, so they say, oh, you ghetto. What is a ghetto? A ghetto is a place, it's not a person. You know, to tell someone they're ghetto, you're calling them a place. You don't have to be a product of your environment. When I go to MIT, 
And if I can't go there, I'm going to plan on moving to England to go to the University of Cambridge. And so basically, I just want to leave DC, but I do want to return someday to um, come back to my roots. It's just been one of my dreams.